I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today on the show we have John Oates. John, welcome to Country Music News International. Thanks. Uh, I love uh, love being uh, around country music. I don't think I'm uh, the perfect uh, country music artist to be interviewing, but um, I love country music. I love a lot of different kinds of music. Oh, well, John, you're known for great music, so... Um and on Country Music News International Radio Show, we play any kind of music from country rock, country pop, country traditional, Perfect. bluegrass, Cajun. Uh, well, then I fit in somewhere. Yeah, somewhere you have an itch. Okay. So, for our readers and listeners um, on Country Music News International, could you please introduce yourself who might be hearing about you for the first time? Okay, well, my name is John Oates, and uh, if you've heard of me before, more than likely you've heard of me with my partner Daryl Hall and Hall and Oates, um, but I have a solo career, and I've done four, uh, five solo albums, and I have a new one that's coming out March 18th here in America, and I'm actually hoping to uh, get it released in Europe and the UK as well okay. over the summer, so I'm working on that right now. And it's called Good Road to Follow, and it's a collection of um, a lot of rootsy material, a lot of collaborations with great, great artists. Folks, that you have an idea about which album we are talking now, that's the album. And is that the finished artwork? No, it's actually not. It's the finished picture, but it's actually in color. So this is just a promo copy. So I have it just... It looks like this. Oh, okay. It <laughs> will be look similar. So, and I... <clears throat> Will the, the full album have free CDs inside too? Yes. The music is identical. It's just that the cover will have more information, more credits and okay. color and things like that. But the, the music itself is exactly the same. It's a, The reason I did three EPs with mm -hmm. five songs each is because the music is um, a lot of different collaborations with, in a lot of different styles. Yeah. There's some pop, there's R&B, there's uh, country, there's... Uh, very Americana, uh, blues. So because of that fact, I thought it would be better if I arranged the music mm -hmm. so that it made sense. So I, I found five songs that made sense and then another five that made sense and I put them together that way. Now, I probably believe we come to the hardest question for you. Which is your personal favorite? <laughs> of course it's the hardest question. <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, <sighs> It's so hard to answer that question because I would do, uh, I would be not uh, doing a disservice if I didn't mention all the great people. I, I worked with people like Vince Gill, uh, people like Ryan Tedder, uh, people like, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mike Henderson. I mean, the, the, Tommy Sims. The list goes on. Jim Lauderdale has been a co-writer on three songs. I uh, worked with a lot of the great studio musicians in Nashville. I would say, you know, I think one of my big favorites is the one I did with Vince Gill. It's called Don't Cross Me Wrong. Um, and the Ryan Tedder song that I did uh, is called Stone Cold Love, which is also very, very kind of extreme, almost like a Black Keys kind of style. Um, but then there's some really uh, cool kind of R&B stuff, too. So... Uh, it's a tough one because there's 15 songs. There's a lot of music on this. That's right, folks. 15 songs. Um, that's the first CD during this year. I have him holding my hand uh, with so many songs on it and with a great mix of any genres of music. And if I wouldn't have it now, I would go to the CD store and buy it by, for myself because it's awesome. I can tell you it's unbelievable. Is it also available on Amazon and all it's that? Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. It'll be available everywhere. Oh, it will okay. be on iTunes, and yep. it'll be a 15-song digital download. Okay. And it will be available physically on yep. Amazon and my website and, and things like that, yes. Website is a good word. Point. Well, you know, I have a website, johnoats.com. I have a Facebook page if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, lots of fun stuff on the Facebook mm -hmm. page. I always upload lots of pictures. I, I just finished a, a cruise uh, in the Caribbean islands with the group Train and Matt Nathanson, Brett Denon, uh, Michael Franti. So it was a wonderful cruise, and we just had a ball. Everyone uh, enjoyed playing with each other, and uh, I, do a lot of, I do a lot of that. I like sitting in with, uh, with bands and playing with them. In your long career, which was um, the best um, person you shared the stage with? Daryl Hall. Why? Because he's been my longtime partner for 40 years, and uh, he's, a, he's an unbelievable singer, one of the greatest in the world, and he is, um, he's an amazing songwriter as well. And so he and I have created uh, music together since the early 70s. 
uh, you know, but I, but there are so many good people out there, and especially here in Nashville. Uh, I moved to Nashville uh, about five years ago, and uh, but I've been coming here since the 90s, mm -hmm. and I've been making more and more friends. And one thing I did learn about Nashville uh, is that the level and quality of the talent here is just off the charts. It's uh, f fantastic. And everyone is so good, even in, and when you talk about the musicians, the singers, the engineers, the yep. producers, everyone here on every level is, is very, very, very talented. So uh, it's just a great place to make music, great place to be uh, part of the music scene here. If you wouldn't have your music career, what would you do? I bet I would have been a race driver. Cool. I used to, I used to race back in the 70s and 80s. I did a lot of sports car racing and things like that, uh, and open wheel racing. And I always loved it. Um, I've slowed down considerably as I've gotten older, but I still like cars. Um, I would have been that, or maybe a professional ski bum, <laughs> one oh. or the other. <laughs> okay. So, by the way, um, you're more a fan of Formula One or NASCAR racing? I would say Formula One. I've, I've followed Formula One for many, many years, um, and I still do. Um, but I like NASCAR. I like all sorts of racing. Um, but I, um, you know, Formula One, I think, is the uh, is the top of the uh, the top of the food chain when it comes yep. to to racing uh, technology and skill, and and ex especially now with the new formula being very exciting. What did you learn by the whole time you are now in the music business? Well, I learned that in order to survive, you have to do a number of things. One is you have to stay healthy enough to enjoy it. The other thing is you have to be very passionate and very hardworking. And, and you have to be very committed to, um, to a life of travel and a lot of other things uh, that aren't considered normal by most people's mm -hmm. standards. But I think the, the, best, the most important thing is to stay true to yourself and make the music that you feel is honest and real. Mm -hmm. And that will always somehow come across and not just try to chase trends, not try to be something you're not just because it's hip or it's the, you know, in vogue at the moment. I think it's very important to just do the kind of music that makes you feel good. Well, so folks, this was John Oates here on Country Music News International. We are very proud to have him because he have a very busy schedule during this year. Um, To find out more information about him, stay with us here on Country Music News International Magazine or tune in to Country Music News International Radio Show to find more music about more music about him. Of course, we play his music and more news about him on Country Music News International Magazine. Have a good one here from Country Music News International in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. You're Christian and John Oates. See ya.